Have you ever wished coding could be as fun and addictive as playing a video game or scrolling social media? I used to waste hours doing nothing, just scrolling social media, roaming around with friends and playing some video games. But today I've built over 50 software projects, learned I think around 10 programming languages and plenty of libraries, also created 8 best-selling online courses, cracked multiple tech interviews and finally rejected them all to build my own path, create opportunities and work on something that truly excites me. How do I go from wasting hours on nothing to becoming obsessed with coding? Well, I found a way to trick my brain into loving coding just as much as gaming or any other thing that I used to like doing. And in this video, I'm going to share exactly what I did to train my brain to get addicted to coding. So if you're someone like me, wasting your time doing nothing or playing video games, watch this video till the end so you can love coding too. Let's start with a simple question. Why are some activities like gaming or scrolling Instagram so addictive while others like coding feels like struggle? It all comes down to a chemical in your brain called dopamine. We also call them happy chemicals. Dopamine is the molecule that makes us crave for rewards. That's why you feel good when you win a game, when you get a like on social media or even when you eat your favorite food. You see most of the apps these days are designed to give you quick dopamine hits. They often gamify their app, give you some rewards every time you open their app. They even level up your profile by unlocking exciting features. That's when you feel you want more. But coding, the rewards are delayed. You don't always get that instant win when you're learning a new language or debugging a project. Sometimes it can take hours to just solve one small issue. So if we want to make coding addictive, we need to trick our brain into releasing dopamine more often while coding, just like it does when we play games. Here is what I did. Consistency. You might have noticed how apps like GitHub keep you engaged with streaks. A streak is something that you do daily uh, without breaking the chain and our brain hates breaking a streak. GitHub has this feature. Every time you push the code, you get a green square. These small green squares make you want to keep going. When I was learning coding, I made sure to push the code daily. Even on my busiest days, I would commit just to maintain that green square streak. And guess what? That habit added up. Now, how can you apply this? Uh, it's very simple. Uh, try coding every day. Whether you're learning some basic concept or building a project, doesn't matter. If you don't have anything to do for the day, look at your own code that you have written previously. This makes you feel proud and happy, essentially releasing a dopamine. The goal is to keep showing up because once coding becomes a part of your daily routine, it becomes effortless. Make coding easy in the beginning. Think about how video games work. They start off easy. You don't get thrown into a super hard level right away. Instead, you get small wins, gain confidence and slowly level up. But when most people start coding, they jump straight into tough problems and then get frustrated. See, if you start coding today and want to build a massive software application the next day, my brother is not going to happen that way. Instead, begin with small projects like a calculator app or a simple game or basic to-do list. These may seem basic, but you know what? Small wins trigger dopamine, a little celebration in your brain. And that's when you start to feel coding is rewarding. And once you build that confidence, you will naturally want to take on bigger challenges. Code what you love. Why do we love video games? They are challenging but fun, they are competitive, they give us a sense of achievement. Now what if we apply the same logic to coding? When I first learned C programming, I found it little boring, it felt like studying for a school exam. But then I started learning PHP for one of my web projects and I even led some PHP projects. But my mind was looking for something else, that's when I switched to Python. And guess what, suddenly I was building real things. I made a simple calculator, then a game and then a full stack application and then built APIs for so many serious businesses and then I realized something coding is only boring if you're working on things that you don't care about so here is my advice pick project that excite you you want to build a game do it you want to build a cool AI project go for it because you see my likes need not to be your likes I like Python I like restful APIs I like working with data machine learning neural network artificial intelligence and so many other things but you may don't like all these things you may like building games you may want to become Android developer iOS developer or a DevOps engineer or anything it's up to you so always work on the things that you love work on the project that excites you forget about learning for a moment just build cool stuff once you start having fun with coding you will lose track of time use a checklist 
you should understand this a software application is made up of many features and each feature is essentially a combination of different logics and functionalities instead of thinking about a project as one huge overwhelming milestone try to break it down into individual features or smaller pieces of logic that you can tackle one at a time to make this process easier you can try using daily or weekly to-do list there are many to-do apps out there on the internet you can use any of them but the point is to listing down the smaller pieces of features so you will see the clear progress and every check mark for the task is a little win that keeps you motivated with that being said if you're constantly distracted by social media like instagram youtube or games coding won't feel rewarding why because your brain is used to instant dopamine hits from these activities so to overcome this the best thing that you can do is avoid high dopamine distractions in the morning meaning you do not watch instagram reels youtube shorts in the morning instead start your day with coding doesn't matter even if it is 10 or 15 minutes when you're stuck at coding which you will uh, get up from your chair or take a walk or just don't look at your screen naturally you will start to think of solutions and fix the code again looking at your fixed code really dopamine and your brain learns to enjoy coding more once you start applying these tricks i'm sure coding won't feel like a hectic task anymore it will feel as fun as gaming maybe even better so try them out and let me know which one works best for you